Good morning. On behalf of the faculty, the staff, the administration, board of trustees, and the entire U Graceland University community, welcome to the December 2020 virtual commencement ceremony. I'm Dr. Patricia Draves, the president of Graceland University, and we are delighted to have you join us to share in this special day for Graceland graduates and for the entire university. Please be seated comfortably in your living room or wherever you are and enjoy the celebration of our graduates. First, I want to acknowledge that we know nothing can replace an in-person commencement. However, we're going to do our best today to create a virtual experience that is meaningful and some fun for you. I know that if I could see you through the computer screen or your cell phone, I'd see an amazingly diverse and unique group of students now graduates, and so many smiling faces and supportive friends and family members out there celebrating your accomplishments today. We are delighted you are here to share on the special day of our graduates and for the university. To begin our ceremony, I call on Graceland's Board of Trustees Chair, Dr. Harry Ashenhurst, to offer the invocation. Harry? Please share with me in a commencement prayer. Loving God, today we gather as a community of learners and teachers to celebrate accomplishment and to embrace a future of possibility and hope. God, we are grateful for this moment in the lives of these scholars who have come now to an important marker in what we trust will be a lifetime of learning. Family and friends have also come to support them in their achievements. We invite your blessing on this assembly and especially on each graduate in accordance with their needs. We are a diverse body in race, religion, ethnicity, gender, age, and all those external qualities that can separate us from each other. But instead of succumbing to this separateness, we have learned about becoming a community, a value and a principle that is seared into the soul of this university. Community can be messy at times, but so it is in creating and nurturing a community of learners. Some may have felt hurt at times, Others affirmed. Some may have been misunderstood, especially at the intersection of culture and life experience. But dialogue has stretched minds and learning has happened. And in this, community has emerged. Healing God, we pray that each one here will take from this journey of learning a call to be a global citizen in a broken world. May the experience here become part of their whole being, ready to emerge and help when life gets tough, and it probably will. And so now a new journey begins. May each person understand and know that they are of ultimate worth. May each person have compassion empathy and care deeply about justice and be pursuers of peace. God of hope, rest your gentle spirit on each one here today. Be with each one as they journey on, grateful for what they have experienced and ready for what may come. In the name of the God of many names, and in my personal faith, Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Thank you, Dr. Ashenhurst. Today, we honor the longstanding history of Graceland University established in 1895. In honoring today's graduates, we also recognize Graceland's tradition of inclusivity, scholarship, faith, and community. Commencement is a time when students from Graceland's many learning communities come together to celebrate their academic achievements. 
This ceremony recognizes all those who have completed their degree requirements and all those that have demonstrated a strong academic record. Our learning communities are diverse in what they study and where they study. In addition to the Independence Campus, Graceland maintains a residential campus in Lamoni, Iowa that dates back to the university's founding. We also offer fully online programs, so some students never set foot on a campus. This year, the university celebrates 125 years. It's an important anniversary since our founding in 1895. When Graceland University began as Graceland College, we offered only two-year degrees until the 1960s, when our first baccalaureate degree was accredited. Since that date, the university has awarded 16,355 bachelor's degrees. The profile of this graduating class is very impressive. 260 of you are graduating today from 30 states, two countries, and three of you are earning doctorate degrees. 182 of you are earning master's degrees in 10 different academic areas, and 96 of you are earning bachelor's degrees in four different majors. 21 of you are earning both a master's as well as a baccalaureate degree from Graceland at this ceremony. Wherever and whatever our students study, it is the Graceland's mission to create quality educational opportunities leading to the achievements that we celebrate together today. As president, it is again my honor to welcome all of you to this important event. Graceland looks forward to a strong future for all of you. We are confident that the values of your university, learn, the values of learning, wholeness, and community will enable you to live meaningful and productive lives. To add to the significance and meaning of this special occasion, we've chosen three faculty members to bring today's commencement address to you each of whom will share their thoughts with a focus on your university, Graceland University, and our values of learning, community, and wholeness. Professor Montel Evans from the Glazer School of Education will speak to learning. Dr. Kathy Lenz from the School of Nursing will speak to wholeness. And Dr. Tony Chevalis-Smith from the Community of Christ Seminary at Graceland University will speak to community. We're excited, we're very excited about this collaborative commencement address, faculty members that you have studied with that exemplifies our power of together and outstanding academics. Faculty? Greetings graduates. My name is Montel Evans, and I would like to begin today with a question. Have you ever taken the time to consider what takes place at the beginning of all thought, silence. And it is through silence that true thinking and innovation can begin. Many of you embark upon a new journey in which you will be looking for someone to lift you up. But I ask you, who captains the voyage ahead for you? Who controls your fate? If you're still thinking and trying to find out who that person is, stop. That person is you. You control your fate. You are the captain of the voyage ahead. You see, the university stance on learning is the dedication to the lifelong, open and free pursuit of truth. You have spent this entire time building up truths to make your foundation. And so from here on out, let that mind of yours that does that thinking during silence, build up on that foundation and let the healthy relationships you built with those around you be your mortar so that you can come together to build something magnificent this world has never seen before. Congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors. Hello, I am Dr. Kathy Lenz, and I am a member of the Graceland University School of Nursing. I am so proud to offer these few words to you. At Graceland University, we believe that the development of the intellectual, 
physical, social, and spiritual dimensions of all persons is a necessary foundation for the evolution of healthy and fulfilling lives. This notion of wholeness is derived from the roots that unify mind and body. As Graceland graduates, these roots are established through the strength offered by your academic programs, co-curricular activities, professors, and common values. While this ceremony is not what any of us envisioned, nonetheless, you are about to walk into a world that needs your courage, vitality, and fortitude in integration of that mind and body. As individuality is simply a segment of the whole, each of our graduates is strengthened by the spirit of community provided by their alma mater, Graceland University. Finally, I will leave you with a quote from Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. A life of wholeness does not depend on what we experience. Wholeness depends on how we experience our lives. Graceland graduates of 2020, go forth and create your own destinies with the strong foundation provided to you. Congratulations, graduates. The Christian denomination that founded Graceland University in 1895 believed passionately in the transforming power of community. Their faith values inspired them to honor the sacred worth of all persons, to seek the well-being of each other, to work together for the common good, to practice grace, acceptance, and kindness toward each other, and all this in hopes that their actions would, in the words of one of their hymns, make earth a heaven below. Community of Christ, the denomination whose ancestors founded Graceland, still reverences and practices these values. Indeed, these abiding values inspire Graceland University still. They are the soul of the university. We believe human life is lived most fully when we laugh, love, struggle, cry, learn, plan, dream, and journey together. At its heart, that's what community is. I cannot become the best me without you, and you need me to become the best you you can be. Even more, we pledge to be there for each other. That's what community is about. Community is thus not a noun. It's more of a verb. It's a shared, ongoing quest. How about if we call it togethering? A word I've heard used in other contexts, but that fits our vision well. Togethering calls us onward toward greater inclusion and diversity, ever deeper into relationships of unconditional love and trust. In the spirit of our ancestors' faith and vision, Graceland University believes passionately in the transforming power of community. We're not perfect at it. No human community is. But this value is the point on the horizon towards which we are journeying. And it is our deep hope that year after year, our graduates will take the power of togethering into our world, which so desperately needs to experience loving community. May we all go forth in that spirit. Thank you, Professor Evans, Lentz, and Shivala Smith. In the next portion of our ceremony, we wanted to give the faculty an opportunity to show their support for you, our graduates, even though we were unable to be with you in person. So we've donned our regalia, our caps, our gowns, you know, and gathered through Zoom to celebrate and present the Excellence in Teaching Award. Michelle Black, the class of 1981, and the president of our alumni board and a tireless champion and dedicated professional volunteer for Graceland will now present the Alumni Award for Excellence in Teaching. Michelle? As the president of the Alumni Board of Directors, I take great pride in presenting the Award for Excellence in Teaching. Each year, student voting creates the finalists for this prestigious award, with the final decision being made by a committee of students and faculty. In addition to a framed certificate and Apple Award, the Alumni Board will provide a $1,000 stipend to the recipient 
to be used for professional development. The three outstanding mm -hmm. finalists for this year are Dr. Ermila Harold, Professor Elise Hector, and Dr. Barb Boshal. All deserve our recognition. Would you join me in a, a brief round of applause? Yay. Now the moment that everyone's been waiting for, I would like to virtually present the Alumni Award yeah. for Excellence in Teaching to Professor Elise Hector. Thank you. Guys, that is this means so much to me. I've been here for almost three years and <clears throat> I love Graceland so much. I love our students so much. And to know that they at least tolerate me <laughs> is really, really nice. I put uh, all everything I have into this program and I really appreciate the honor. Hey, so let me share, share a few good words about, about Professor Hector. She holds a BSN and an MSN from Missouri Western State University. She joined Graceland as assistant professor of nursing in 2018. Comments her students have offered include, Professor Hector has high expectations for her students but she's willing to do anything to help them out. Professor Hector will go to great lengths to make sure students understand the material being covered. She continually encourages me and tells me I can do it. Above all, Professor Hector wanted us to have the capability and skills to be successful. Congratulations, Elise, on your dedication to the art of teaching and to our students. Hey. And Elise, I want to make sure you know that we'll make sure that the Apple Award and the certificate are delivered to you. And congratulations again. Thank you. Dr. Ray, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty, will begin recognition of our graduates. Good morning. For the last 900 years, caps and gowns donned by graduates today have been the distinctive symbol of scholars. In the early years, students wore them to keep warm. It also is rumored that the more practical ones sometimes tucked away a cheese sandwich in the sleeve for lunch. Today, these garments heighten the significance of this rite of passage as a badge of acceptance into the community of scholars. For students who have completed master's or doctoral degrees, your regalia includes an academic hood. The hood represents your success in completing your graduate program. If it weren't for the pandemic, the dean or the director of your school and I would be placing your hood on your shoulders as you walk across the stage. We are all so sad to miss this special part of the ceremony this year. These are huge accomplishments. You have each earned either a doctorate or a master's degree. So at some point today or another day, I hope you will have someone important in your life hood you to help celebrate your achievements. Each hood tells a story. The color of the velvet trim indicates the graduate's degree and discipline. Apricot is for nursing light blue for education, and red for religion. The silk lining on the hood signifies the university from which you earned your degree. The blue and gold colors of the satin field mark you forever as Graceland graduates. Wear them proudly. Will all candidates for doctoral degrees please rise as your location allows? President Draves, I am pleased to present to you candidates from the School of Nursing. They have been approved by the faculty of the university for the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice and their names appear on the official list of candidates. On the recommendation of the faculty of Graceland University, by the virtue of authority vested in me by the state of Iowa, 
and upon each of you who has met the requirements established by the university faculty, administration, and board of trustees, I confer the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree with all the rights, privileges, and obligations which pertain thereto and of which your diploma shall forever be testament. <laughs> Candidates here standing, please feel free to be seated. Now will all candidates for master's degrees please rise as your location allows. President Draves, I am pleased to present to you candidates from the School of Nursing, the Edmund J. Glazer School of Education, and the Community of Christ Seminary. They have been approved by the faculty of the university for the degrees of Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Education, or Master of Arts in Religion, and their names appear on the official list of candidates. On the recommendation of the faculty of Graceland University, by the virtue of authority vested in me by the state, and by upon each of you who has met the requirements established by the university faculty, administration, and board of trustees, I confer the Master of Science in Nursing, the Master of Education, the Masters of Arts and Religion degrees with all the rights, privileges, and obligations which pertain thereto, and of which your diploma shall be forever tested. <laughs> Feel free to be seated, graduates. All right, graduates and families, here comes the exciting part. The moment that your spouse, your partner, your parent, your child, your relative, or your friend will virtually walk across the stage. Feel free to cheer wherever you are. We'll begin with our doctoral and master's candidates, the highest degrees that we offer at Graceland University. Please welcome Dr. Sharon Little Stetzel, Dean of the School of Nursing, who will make a few remarks, and then Dr. Jolene Lin, Associate Dean of the School of Nursing, will read the names of graduates in alphabetical order, and we will celebrate each of you with a photo as your name is called. In 1994, Graceland's nursing program led the university into challenging field of graduate study. From 1997, 4,626 students have earned master's degrees and another 52 advanced to the prestigious doctoral level. The Master of Science in Nursing degree was Graceland's first graduate program and allows students to earn a degree as a family nurse practitioner with a focus on health promotion and disease prevention. The Adult Gerontology Acute Care Program accepted its first student cohort in 2017. It specializes in care for acutely ill patients within the hospital setting. This fall, the Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Program accepted its first student cohort. The School of Nursing graduate faculty, responding to a strong commitment to nursing education excellence, accepted the first class of doctoral students in August 2011. The Doctorate of Nursing Practice prepares nurses for advanced roles as, and as clinical scholars. Students who complete the curriculum receive a DNP in organizational leadership. Every faculty member in the School of Nursing knows how hard you've worked to achieve this milestone in your life. And I wish I could be here to put your hood on you today. We are proud of you and know that you will be great Graceland graduates. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduate students in the School of Nursing. Candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree, Ashley Lynn Adams. Dana Omari. Candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing degree. Caitlin Victoria Alums. Timothy Joseph Anderson. Stacy Joe. Anderson. Agnes 
and twee. Adam Cole Ashby. Spencer Marie Ashby. Jasmine Burkack Barnhart. Amanda Barrett. Alicia Ann Becker. Angela Joy Becker. Cody Allen Bell. Sandra Jo Bell. Michael David Black. Joe Francis Blassengame. Jenna Nicole Blundell. Hope Elizabeth Brightback. Cassandra Diane Brillhart Green. Rachel Cecilia Brooks. Tiffany Lynn Brown. Jessica Nicole Bryant. Sarah Marie Burns. Afton Elise Bai. Devin M. Caracillo. Courtney Chance. Aaron Chu. Retha Faye Clemens. Aaron Klein. Erica K. Clow. Rhea Coombs. Millie S. Cox. Bonnie Daniel. Tammy A. Dita. Jamie Gail Dodd. Natalia Dodge. Russell S. Doxy. Cindy Dudley. Natalie Dumstra. Courtney Michelle Duthu. Lauren Lane Eitzman. Samantha Jo Emery. Rebecca Ann Fairchild.
Kimberly Jean Ferris. Lisa Marie Ferentino. Aaron Ashley Lewis Fiddler. Summer Brianne Flandermeyer. Monica Janelle Fleming. Aaron Young Mean Fong. Ashley Nicole Frazier. Hugh Michael Fritas. Kevin James Garrison. Angela Nicole George. Caitlin Marie Giannino. Maria Garaskova. Jennifer C. Goodwin. Ronnie Keith Gordon Jr. Flora Ann Gorm. Beth Nicole Grimes. Jocelyn Goost. Tony Gutierrez. Aaron Hager. Angela Renee Hanna. Rachel Harder. Rachel Hannah Harrington. Holly Lynn Harris. Sherry Ruth Hart. Heather Rochelle Hetty. Stevie J. Hyatt. Alexi Ashton Hips. Trina Dawn Holm. Elizabeth Ann Horney. Stephanie Rochelle Holtz. Sadia Islam. Jamuna Jackson. Nelson Jaco. Rachel Ann Jeffries. Lisa Jensen. Eleanor Johnson. Edward Mora Caranja. Sarah Elizabeth Kelly.
Courtney Kelso. Patrick Blake Kent. Crystal Gail Kinslow Hardiman. Lodeska Kirchner. Matthew R. Klein. Jammy K. Cloves. Carly Ann Knobloch. Alicia Dawn Knox. Jesse Kohler. Jesse Anthony Cribs. Anna Lee Kruger. Brent C. Lamb. Kelly Christine Lichty. Sodareth Lou. Theodora Isabel Locke. Rachel Elizabeth Lathan. Derek Lugano. Lauren K. Mancieri. Jacqueline Michelle Marble. Stephanie Nicole Mars. Matthew Martini. Carrie Dawn McDaniel. Laura V. McDonald. Ashlyn Nicole McGinnis. Alana Christine McKinney. Brandy Watkins. Clayton John Merritt. Lauren Meyer. Jessica Mize. Susan Miner. Lindsay Jane Meckle. Lisa Tori Monteverde. Teresa Mund. Desiree Reese Nelson. Kristen Nersesan. Janae Danielle Nilges. Tiffany Marie Noon. Rosaline Uju 
wigway. Jessica Lee Ogden. Brandy Cheyenne Osborne. Lindsay Nicole Palmesi. Angie Parrott. Marina Akhtar Pathan. Jacqueline Peterson. Christy Pope. Alisa K. Presnall. Scott Daniel Ramirez. Dedra Rose Rathgeber. Amy Lee Reinhardt. Amy Remy. Jessica Nicole Rice. Heather Nicole Richardson. Tiffany Dawn Reitmeyer. Kimberly Aromi Rivera. Everett Henry Roberts. Jacqueline Robinson. Claire Ann Rowey. Kendra Marie Lynn Rose. Molly Lynn Salmonson. Daryl Glenn Sanford. Renee Ann Schrader. Amanda K. Schulte. Brandy Renee Scott. Sheldon Zechariah Seaman. Abigail Sepanik. Sarah Elizabeth Sharp. Eric James Shipley. Margaret M. Simmons. Laura Slaw. Jennifer Stark. Sabrina Stevens. Jordan Dale Terry. Cindy Thompson. William Carl Thamel. Jason Michael Van Hoos. 
Krista K. Weaver. Jenna D. Weekly. Sarah Elizabeth Wetter. Jill Wettstein. Megan Watley. Tyler Wayne White. Melissa Lee Whitney. Brittany Marie Wolfile. Amanda Wood. Paige Taylor Wolf. Anastasia Wyatt. Aurelia Young. Mara Zello. As we move to the Glazier School of Education, please welcome Dr. Michelle Dickey Cotts, Dean of the School of Education. For 20 years, Grayson University has provided an advanced degree in education to practicing PK-12 teachers in regional, national, and international settings. Today, we confer MED graduates in three areas, instructional leadership, literacy and instruction, and special education. Over the years, the MED has attained accolades for upholding exemplary teaching and learning standards. Top 10 in 100 US News and World Rankings, in national surveys, United States Distance Learning Association Awards, and national accreditations are just a few testaments to the caliber of this program. A greater affirmation to the value of the program, however, comes from our graduates themselves, who have won many Teacher of the Year citations and advancement within their school settings. Education is about helping students see that they have worth and value to the world, that they matter. Today, we want our graduates to know that they have worth and value, and that they do, in fact, matter. Will you please join me in congratulating the graduating students from the School of Education? Kaylee Bowling. Amy Jo DeFrance. Emily Louise Ganson. Alyssa Jean Garreau. Casey Brooke Gunnels. Michaela Varen Kingsolver. Kimberly Kristen Mooney. Margaret Redingler. Amy M. Snyder. The Community of Christ Seminary at Graceland University offers students a Master of Arts in Religion. Since its founding in 2002 as a joint venture between Graceland University and its sponsoring denomination, Community of Christ, it has provided an intellectual and sacred gathering space that encourages students to seek wisdom by study and also by faith. We are proud to partner with Community of Christ in this academic and spiritual endeavor. For the past 18 years, the seminary has awarded over 160 degrees 
to students from many continents and a variety of religious traditions. It includes full-time and part-time ministers, as well as those who entered the program simply to deepen their understanding of their community of faith. Seminary graduates will carry forward the commitment of both the university and the church towards social justice, peacemaking, community, and service. We are deeply proud of our graduates and can't wait to see how they create meaningful transformation in their communities. As we say in the commissioning of our seminary students, may the Holy Spirit guide you, strengthen you, that in all things you may do God's will in the service of the reign of Christ. We commend you to this work and pledge you our prayers, encouragement, and support. Amen. Please join me in congratulating these exceptional students from the Community of Christ Seminary. Deborah Brew. David Davis. Kathy Fallon. Jennifer Hedman. James Picer. Ashley Sabri. Jamie Ann Smith. Kevin White. Paul Wilson. Congratulations to all of our doctoral and master's graduates. It's now time for the celebration of our graduates who are earning bachelor's degrees. Graduates, because of your intelligence, hard work, perseverance, and the power of together, you are about to graduate from Graceland University. This is what you've worked so hard toward for the past few years. Take time to breathe and enjoy this moment. You are becoming part of an elite group of people in the world with a college degree. We know from 100people.org that if the world were made up of 100 people, only seven of them would have a college degree. Soak in your achievements and enjoy this celebration of your accomplishments. Will all candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise as your location allows? President Draves, I am pleased to present to you candidates from the CH School of Business, CH Sandage School of Business, the Edmund J. Glazer School of Education, and the School of Nursing. They have been approved by the faculty of the university for degrees of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and their names appear on the official list of candidates. President Draves, in addition to their majors, these candidates have completed all other academic requirements for their respective degrees, and I have the honor of presenting them as the 124th graduating class of Graceland University. On the recommendation of the faculty of Graceland University, by the virtue of authority vested in me by the state, and upon each of you who has met the requirements established by the university faculty and administration and board of trustees, I confer the, bachelor's, uh, the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science and Nursing degrees with all the rights, privileges, and obligations which pertain thereto, and of which your diploma shall forever be tested. Candidates, if you are standing, please feel free to be seated. During their years at the university, 
Graceland students distinguish themselves in many different ways. On commencement day, we recognize those who have distinguished themselves in scholarship. Academic excellence is at the heart of a university's reason for being and recognition of such achievement is appropriate at commencement. On the list of graduates in your program, you will find the names of those whose scholarship has been exceptional. All those receiving special recognition have completed at least 56 hours in residence. Those who graduate cum laude have achieved a cumulative grade point average ranging between 3.50 and 3.74. Students graduating magna cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89. And students graduating summa cum laude have achieved a, a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. Each of these individuals is listed in the printed program and will be recognized on their photo when their name is called. Now, Dr. David Shaw, Vice President for Student Life and Dean of Students, will rec read the names of graduates in alphabetical order and we will celebrate each of you with a photo as your name is called. Hello. I'm so happy to be here with you today. What you have accomplished is a major, major accomplishment. I'm proud of you and I'm happy to celebrate this day with you. Stephanie Renee Ambler. Charlie Anderson. Stacy Jo Anderson. Taylor Ray Archer. Zachariah Martin Bell. Amber Rochelle Bjarnason. Cassandra Diane Brillhart Green. Megan Marine Brownlee. Kaylee Diane Bultman. Haley Morgan Burge. Stacy Don Burnett, Andrew Victor Canfield, Teresa Canal Cano, Alex M. Chamberlain. Ritha Faye Clemens. Tammy A. Ditta. Leah Grace Eckhart. Casey Renee Farrell. Kimberly Jean Ferris. John A. Fenton. Kara Renee Fisher. Reese Fleming. Shannon Fry, Lauren A. Gillespie, Shelby Caitlin Gomez,
Ronnie Keith Gordon Jr. Rachel Lee Hall. Chastity Hansen. Annalie Paloma Herrera. Brittany Kristen Hoke. Cassie Diane Holser. Casey Lynn Hauser. Alexa Corinne Heider. Kayla Nicole Heyer. Desiree Dawn Jenkins. Melinda K. Johns. Annie F. Kenny Malong. Crystal Gail Kinslow Hardiman. Alicia Don Knox. Christina Lauren Koch. Anna Lee Kruger. Brent C. Lamb. Shelby Larson. Micah Lewis. Alexis Lindsay. Hallie Sue Linhart. Sounderath Lu. Rachel Elizabeth Lothan. Jennifer K. Long. Ashley Nicole Lusby. Lauren K. Mancieri. Caitlin Marie Mason. Andrea Matson. Michaela Matthews. Shelby May. Carrie Dawn McDaniel. Monica Mesa. Cassandra Gail Miller. Mackenzie Lee Miller. Susan Minor. Dorian Sandra Mitchell. Glenasha Loretta Moore. Desiree Reese Nelson.
Jamie Nelson. Tiffany Marie Noon. Colby Elizabeth Odell. Andrea Elise Patton. Brianne Lee Peterson. Scott Daniel Ramirez. Landry Pearl Rogers. Crystal Renee Rouse. Andres Ruiz. Blake Russell. Cody Lyle Sapp. Michaela Marie Seymour. Sarah Elizabeth Sharp. Ashley Karen Skelton. Juliana Marie Sauerwine. Jordan Marie Stevens. Stephanie Lynn Stumpf. Shannon Brienne Surprise. Elnara Vladimirovna Tamrasova. Claudia Hignan Tang. Donovan Templeton. Catherine Lynn Thompson. William Carl Thummel. Brianna Elizabeth Vaca. Chantel Van Heuen. Tina Marie Walton. Brandy Watkins. Graduates, at this time, I invite you to engage in some creative visualization. Imagine that you're actually in the auditorium for this ceremony. You're standing next to your best friends from Graceland, and you're in your graduation regalia, your cap and your gown. Reach up and move your tassel from right to left to signify that you are indeed a graduate and to signify that you are now a member of a very special group, the Graceland University Alumni. As the president of Graceland's Alumni Board, I invite you to embrace your membership in this group of more than 30,000 living alumni by always remembering where you came from and by staying connected to the Graceland family. These have been formative years that will shape you as you enter into the next phase of your lives. Go into that phase with the same vigor and energy you brought to your studies and life as Graceland students. Fulfill the Graceland mission by living meaningful and productive lives as alumni. Come back to your Graceland often and join this family in helping future Gracelanders achieve what you have done today. I am so proud as a Graceland alum to have you join our ranks. Congratulations to you all. Please join me in applauding these graduates.
Before we conclude, let's all stop for just for a moment to mark what has happened here today. Graduates, after years of hard work, today we formally celebrate you, that you have earned your degree. That degree is a key that opens the door to new opportunities. And you received a keychain to remind you of all those new doors that are open to you. But please remember that you did not just earn any degree today. You earned a degree from Graceland University. What comes with that tools are tools to live a meaningful and productive life and the responsibility to go out and make the world a better place. While you have experienced the power of together here as a student, please know that that continues forever. This is your university. This is your community. This is your Graceland. And this is yours graduates together. It is your moment that we celebrate today. And as we embark on this place, please remember, we are Graceland, power of together, and of course, Graceland forever. Congratulations. To close out the ceremony, the Graceland Combined Choirs led by Choral Director Sarah Blessing will now sing our alma mater, followed by the benediction offered by seminary graduate Jamie Smith. The words to this hymn will be shown on your screen. Please feel free to join us in singing, if your location of course allows, and as we lift up our voices from around the world today. Director Blessing and Jamie. Pray with me. Spirit of life, creator, sustainer, thank you for this day and for the wisdom to recognize our gifts and pursue our education. As students, we have come to this place following different paths. There are times we have walked, times we have run, and in our low times, we have felt as if we were crawling towards our goals. As graduates, we've come to the end of this educational experience, yet 
these paths will continue with various times of walking, running, and crawling. Our time at Graceland has enriched our lives and prepared us to move forward. For this, we are grateful. Lord, guide our endeavors. Provide us courage. Keep us open to the opportunities that come with our vocations and continually mindful of the responsibilities that accompany them. On our paths, guide us so that we will have feet that walk and even run towards ethical practices and social responsibility. Hands that reach out to those in need, whether they sit in a boardroom, a classroom, an emergency room, or on a park bench. Guide us to have eyes always peering through the lenses of compassion, connection, and curiosity. Give us minds and hearts that remain open to new understandings and actively engaged in the work of building communities that embrace peace and justice. Lead us to companies and corporations that put people and planet over profit, to medical facilities that work to heal the whole person, to classrooms that are safe and inclusive for all learners, and to opportunities to serve and uphold your vision for creation, your shalom. God, through your gracious spirit, we ask that you bless our ongoing journeys with patience, humility, generosity, and gratitude for our families, our friends, and the mentors that have supported us and will continue to do so. Thank you for the many journeys that intersect in this place today. The paths of students, faculty, family members, and friends. Bless us as we celebrate our accomplishments and continue on our journeys. Amen.